Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about how to implement GraphQL in .NET Core using C Sharp. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Before we going deep dive, a quick primer, GraphQL is a query language for your API and a server-side runtime for executing those queries using a type system you define for your data. Unlike REST, where you get a fixed data structure from an endpoint, GraphQL lets clients specify what data they need and how they want it. Sounds cool, right? Alright, so first step is by, by initializing a new .NET Core Web API project and using this command .NET New Web API dash and GraphQL demo and click enter. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. After that, adding a package, we will be using the fantastic hot chocolate library, which makes the GraphQL integration with .NET Core a piece of cake. So we will be adding .NET add package hot chocolate.asp.net core and hot chocolate.asp.net core dot playground. Here we will adding .NET add package hot chocolate.asp.net core playground. So the third step is crafting our model for illustrative purpose. Let's imagine you are building a library system. So a book model will be created. So the next step is sketching the GraphQL schema. With our model ready, it's time to define our GraphQL schema with our simpler query class. So here's example. So the last step is to add this add GraphQL server dot add query type query. Also app dot using routing app dot use endpoints endpoints dot map graphql also app dot play use playground in the program dot cs file after that you can run this application so i'm going to run this application by using the command dot net run and click enter so i'm going to run this application by using this our url after that you can type slash graphql and hit enter it will automatically go towards this uh, page and you can uh, click on allow after that you can browse your schema and click on operations now you can type your query here on the GraphQL here and once you click on run as you can see when I added the data the title and author in our model class you can see the details here so voila your work is completed so thank you for watching this video. In a few easy steps, you have just built a functional GraphQL API using .NET Core and C Sharp. The path forward expand your schema, integrate with database, add mutations, sprinkle in subscription and more. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.